Now is the time we are gathering together. Whether we are Hindus, whether we are Jews, whether we are Muslim, whether we are Christian. I think never before such a thing can happen easily. Now, in the era of globalization, you don't care who your neighbor on the right, on the left, behind and in front. Muslim, Hindus, Christian, we are a human being. I'm a medical doctor, so that's why every day I saw the people who suffer drugs, narcotics, how the children can angry to his father, the poor people, the poor people. Before I didn't know, every, every afternoon, the people are waiting for my own private practice. And then later on, I know they take the non-hygienic shearings from my ash, something like that. So that's why my friend in faith, we are a human being who constantly sing. There's no difference between you, the Jews, and we are the Muslims, between you, Hindus, and you, the Christians. We are together, suffer or not suffer. We are rich or poor, but we are human beings, the children of God. So brother, I think we were ruled before by the Dutch. And then when your queen came to Indonesia, how can you accept me as the queen of Holland? We were ruled by German only a few days. We will never forget. No, it is Indonesia. We can forget the, 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 the past. Let us see the future. No, the future is here in our relation between religion. Before, we are secular, but not secular anymore. You are asked here by the government of Holland, Netherlands. We were ruled before by the, the Netherlands, but we sang to the Netherlands. You make us a doctor, you make us lawyer, you make us manager. So that's why I do believe the time now is for cooperation between Muslim and Christian, between Jews and Hindus and Buddhists. In Indonesia, the older brother of us are Hindus and Buddhists. We call the older brother. Islam, Muslim are the younger brother. Although we are the big, we are the big Muslim, 92%. But we call our Buddhist friend or Hindu friend as our older brother. You built Indonesia before? We continue to, to, to make Indonesia the first population in the world. 430 million. Consists of 2,000 island, 2,000 ethnic group but we are speaking one national language. We are very fortunate from God. So brother, the problem of aid for Indonesia is the problem of education. When you want to see the Jakarta, the biggest number of uh, aid is in Jakarta. But the worst condition and percentage uh, in Irian, do is what? Do is what in Indonesia? You know why? It is not easy to give health education to the people of Iria because of lack education, lack of knowledge. So you can find HIV aid in Iria from the canyon up to the mountain because the people went to uh, uh, prostitute the same prostitute brought uh, HIV-8 from Java Island uh, and then 
the people, the people of uh, Irian, the indigenous people of Irian, brought the people the disease up to the mountain. I have a close friend, American doctor, worked for his IV-8 in the Freeport mining, gold mining. Freeport gold mining in the year 50 or 100 years ahead, oh no, uh, 50 years ahead, will be the biggest gold mining in the world. Freeport belongs to American. He worked for, for his IV-8 and I accompanied him. I can see how the people suffer. How the people complain of this disease because poverty, because of late education. We cannot depend as long as eternally to the global fund we got from Geneva. We must create the budget from our own sources. <laughs> the developing world must not eternally depend on the, uh, on the advanced world. I think the time has come now for working together. Make a better life for our grandchildren, grand-grandchildren. To your grandchildren, Hindus, Buddhists, Jews, Muslims. And here, I ask to Sheikh Mustafa, in Indonesia and Malaysia, the, the influence of Al-Azhar are very big. So it's time now for UNDP in Middle East uh, to give the money for the conference in Al-Azhar. So the people, if they hear the people from Al-Azhar, they will follow what I talk to him. If I talk to him, you are not Al-Azhar, you are a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I always say like this, say, if you want to prevent that you can use the values of religion, but treatment is under the doctor's hand, not under doctors of ulama, <laughs> not ustad, not ustazah. Yeah. So that's why I do hope that Al-Azhar, with the uh, support of WHO, UN8, I think the time now. Like, I don't know, five years before, who, Kardawi uh, thought in that Gopthik and Muslim are together. The, and then I was asked by uh, Mr. Uh, Henny Albana to go to South Africa, South Africa. I think there was a debate uh, in South Africa among non-scholar Muslim, <laughs> among non-scholar Muslim. The debate is not on in, an intellectual basis or a Quran or Hadith. It is more on emotional. emotional. Can you give zakat to, to non-Muslim? Everyone said, the politician, yes! The other, no! <laughs> How can we? The non-intellectual Muslim gather together these are the people of Azhar. So that's why uh, moderator, Rabbi uh, Mohsen, and the uh, direct, I do thank for this opportunity to speak from Indonesia, from 700,000 mosques. I'm the chairman of 700,000 mosques. And the people of Indonesia after China, India, and America, we are number four. And we do not hope that the people and the, 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 our wife suffer like a man. You are very brave women, a man. 